Hello, it's on now. Alright, gotta take a... Alright. Now it's up. Wunderbar. Alright. Now I'm just gonna... Alright. Now that that's up... All right, just making sure that <laughs> some peeps ready for this, because I wouldn't want them missing out. Because, yeah, I am looking forward to this, but I guess some background when I... Rico, we right. gotta talk. Go ahead. No. No, not over an open <sighs> channel. The Black Hand can't. No, 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 not them. Meet me at Costa Consuelo. Anyway. Oh, technically that little voice comm is going to be relevant sooner than later, but... All right. So, um, yeah, last stream, we took out the, uh, Los Demonios. We, we, we purged all the demons and annihilated all of them. Good times. Right. But I was thinking, you know what? A little cool end for that, because we're getting so close to beat this game. I might as well show off a few uh, Easter eggs that I've. that I know of, at least. Alright, so first off, the cow gun, which is located this corner of the map. And. in game? I don't think there's anything that really tells you about this. I just, like, heard of it and, like, sought it out. Yeah. Ah, hey, babe. <laughs> Glad to see you, Pidman. So yeah, let's... We pick it up, it makes a moo sound. Alright, it got, it got bored. Alright, and you may be wondering, what did it do, right? Because, uh, well, here's a car. You know, things in this game tend to be, uh, pretty violent and explosive, so... Right, but, you know, it's not it's not taking out the tires. Like, normally, like, any projectile gun should be able to take out the tires or something. It's making bullet holes. Right, but it's like, what is it doing? Right. Well... And yes, not only more cowbell, but more cow. Yeah, I think if it hits something, it does do like a little white splash. Maybe or maybe that's supposed to be the dust part effect, uh, particles. Yeah, uh, we have a a gun that makes people into cows. It does literally no damage, and it has a little kind of sparkly fairy sound along with the cowbell, and it just it makes people into cows, and it doesn't interrupt. Anything they're doing. Mm. 
And it's just, it's, it's just, the cow gun is just on their, on their, like, patio right here. And if you, uh, die or anything, or, like, I think even if you, like, turn off the game and then, uh, come back to it, if you still have down your inventory, I think you'll start out with it. Alright, and also, um, what happens if we had a cow with the cow gun? They turn... <laughs> yeah. I mean, this came out in... <laughs> I can't wait for, uh, the chat to catch up with the... where I'm at at the stream. That's not a milkman. That's the uh, enemy or the antagonist of the third Just Cause. I forgot his name. But yeah, it's just. If you hit a cow with it, they become that like that dictator dude. If you hit anything else or any other animal, they. It just doesn't affect them. <laughs> but also, there's something else in store. First... First, let me find off this clown. can't hurt enemies, by the way. <laughs> but there is a secret feature I haven't been showing off yet. Running in the bulls. <laughs> nice one. Right? There's a secret feature. It allows us to become cow at will. Uh, let's head off to... Oh! No, if Cow Rico drops a gun. Ah. He still stays a cow. That said, I don't know if it lasts... If it persists well, through... <laughs> if it persists... Oh! That, that was a physical interaction. I don't know if it lasts through cutscenes. Which isn't too important right now, but... Um... Let's... Get up here. Wait, no. What am I looking for? Ah, because I do the, uh... Uh, big DLC soon. And probably do some cutscene stuff. Or... Right. So, I, I want to keep the cow gun on me. Because I... If I could be Cal Rico this entire stream, then I will 
I will do my best. Got you later, Rico. Give him hell. <laughs> All right. Let me make sure I have. I think it's about here. Because this was one, uh, while I was looking at some of the details on the wiki, I saw something for a weapon. That I didn't unlock. I was like, oh, how can there be a weapon that I haven't unlocked yet? Alright, and it's the tenderizer. And you know, like the cow gun, it, it looks kind of like a normal gun, but, you know, with something added onto it. And these weird fleshy growths on it. It's kind of glowing. Right, and... Yeah. Tendralizer. Yeah, Tendralizer. Yeah, that's a name. <laughs> right? So, uh... Right, and it's, like, weird. And it only has, like, unlike the cow gun, which has infinite ammo, it has far less ammo. So... You know what? Yeah, may I... You know what? No, I know. Or maybe... Um... I'm trying to think. Operation Yappa... You know what? I'm trying to... I want to do a story while... <laughs> Before, you know, to show this off. But I think, yeah, we're we're gonna go do this mission. Because I, I'd rather be in enemy territory to show off this weapon. And uh, the mission is Mas Masmora Rescue. Mir's uncle, Lanza, Lanza Morales, may be detained in a secret prison. Investigate the prison and save Lanza if he's, al if he's alive. All right. And wait now, I forgot. I can't call for drops in this island. It's, it's too fucked up and evil, I guess. Uh, is there a t ah, okay? This is close by. Oh yes, this has extremely finite ammo. It has forty-eight shots, but. Like, you know. Go kick some ass down there, oh yeah, because I said the opposite of the uh, cow gun with infinite ammo. Well, I mean, yeah, it has very fine ammo. I think if I go back to that spot, I won't find the... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized something. There's another... Before, I know I'm going to forget it if I don't do it now, so we're going to ignore the, the map glitching out like that. <laughs> we're going to come over here, actually. And where is it? There's a spot. Where is it? I'm gonna find it. Okay, there's a spot somewhere near here that I think it's somewhere around here. That I know I'm gonna forget this if I don't go now. Um, 48 may actually be enough to clear a base if I'm feeling patient. And. Actually, no, yeah. It was an honor to fly you, Hefe. Did I fall directly where I wanted to be? Okay, no, that's not where I want to be. Ah, this is where I want to be. First, I, I found it from uh the spot I dropped from. But let's show Rio from the road. 
right? You see this path, but, you know, there's no clear entrance to... Or, I mean, it's obstructed by the, uh... Uh, the... Rail guard. Right, so, yeah, we go up here. I'm too cool. To, uh, walk around... Oh, there's a fence. Um... No, did I... I'm wondering about something. Did I do something weird? One of these settings. No. Alright. Now let's just fly. Alright. And... <laughs> I had to read your comment, Pitman. Oh, I love Firewatch. Ah, the fence. Yeah. Alright. And... Look what we have here. Right? Like... I found this on my own, actually, without, like, warning. Do not come within 20 meters of cage. Right? And it just have these stickers all over. There's nothing inside. It's completely empty. Right? And you have danger, authorized personnel. And yep. Oh, straight up dress, Park yeah. 1. Exactly. You have some ammo here. Yep. And to show the other side, give uh, clearer. Project Silesian, Silesian Amber. <laughs> it's <laughs> Pitmon. It's a bad time to show up as a cow hun. No, what? You're right. And this is what I teased earlier of uh, the warning risk of serious injury. Project Silesian Amber, you know, the three, Claw Slash. All the screens. And then you see a bone on the console here. And also... Can I not interact with it? Oh wait, I remember now. There is something I need to activate. Right, because it's like, I remember being able to do something. Yeah, you need to power the generator. Yep. And yeah, you know, now I can activate the console. Accessing database. Yeah, the first time we did that, there's like a roar from like over here. I don't know if anything showed up or it's just, you know, the sound effect. But yeah, this is just a really cute one. Because other than, you know, just stumbling onto it, you know, it, the game doesn't really point out to you or anything. So it's just a fun little Easter egg. But yeah. Oh, what did I unlock? I unlocked that. Anyway, I'll... Miss that later. Oh yeah, I need to warp back to uh, where I wanted to go. And yeah, that was the uh, the guy's arm that got loose in the core. The open like at the opening of the movie. But yeah, let's head on back. All right, now that that detour is out the way, let's actually show off what the tendralizer does. Right, so, Pidmon, 
you watched the VOD of the last stream, remember? Alright, and in that one, I uh, saw the the weird alien enemies, or the eldritch monster, like, tentacle things that can pick up, like, cannons, right? Like, cannons, artillery, etc. And, like, actually interface with those. To, like, you know, snipe Rico out of the sky with a fucking uh, Mira, tank. I met La Masmora. Ah, you listened to it. The well, you, oh, you listened down. to it. Look for a console that will give you access. Copy. <laughs> nice. Right, I want to show you something, right? You see that, that guard? They got shot, but they're like, nothing happened, and it made the cow sound. Oh yes, and that was when in the <laughs> the stream I was like saying that's why I don't make ta tanks ascend because uh, tanks are somehow really good at sniping you once they're like higher up. They're just they're just really good at it, right? And you you know if I shoot an enemy again, nothing happens, right? If only has. Nice. Actually, what we'll work here? Yeah, you yeah, know, still nothing happens, right? It feels weird. That's because I'm not shooting the right target. Now I have the right target. You had to hit the ground, or like, what exactly had to hit? It's like either pavement or dirt or grass. But then you summon one of these. Right. And they may be like thinking, oh, it's shooting me a lot. But here's the thing. It shoots at literally anyone. I think it priority it can prioritize Rico, but it will just shoot at anything, including civilians or Army of Chaos. Right, the only downside is there's a limit of, like, ooh, it almost sniped me there. There's a limit of two that you can have up at a time. Here isn't, you know what? <laughs> it's, you know, giving them some hell, but it's not the most exciting place. I feel like I'll, mm, I don't want to ditch the cow gun. Oh, there's a limit of two that can be active at once. Like, let me demonstrate. Like, one of the other... I uh, had the first one... Right. The... The tendril destroys the tank that it was controlling. And then just retreats underground. So yeah. it's This is just a weird easter egg weapon. Where... It does that, like, if... Know what? Uh... Know what, I could... No, I think what I'm gonna do is show it off in a clip. I probably have some saved of, like, going to, uh... One of the frontline areas where it's at the edge of where things are contested. And in spots like, you know, where, like, the Army of Chaos controlled Solis and the Black Hand controlled Solis territories, there's a lot of enemies there, and those things can shine there. But, hey, it's... <laughs> it's causes some harm, though. Thanks, there. And yeah, I think I may do some more demoing. That said, now I have to find a way to, uh... Please, sir, I need your... Wait. Silly. 
Alright. Thank you. Because I kind of need to be in this general area. Oh, and also, I found out a, the secondary fire for the uh, rocket launcher. Watch this. If you press the uh, secondary fire while the rocket's up in the air, you can redirect it. I think it has a limit, because it kept going over there, but yeah, no, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep the cow gun. The world needs more cow. It's waiting for confirmation from the watchtowers. Oh, shit. Then get there fast, Rico. The system will expect verification from all three towers before it grants access to the elevator. That's one. No further contact. All units, stay alert. Yeah, I can do this. <laughs> Pidmon, agents of Cow Ross. Two down. Cow Ross. One to go. Hell yeah. All of them. Tendril defeated. Elevators open. I'll let you know when I'm on my way down. Wait. I want to see something. I doubt it would work. But I wonder if that weapon despawned. It probably did. Hasn't Eyes open for Somewhere over here. I was just one. Yeah, I was just kind of wondering. What would happen if I use the cow gun on the tendril? Yeah. Because I know there's something that happens. You know what? I can show it off here. Because here's something. Oh, map. Okay. It, it fixed itself. That's good. Um, edit loadout. Uh, black market gang rides. Los Tomonios. All right. Supplies order Let's... confirmed. Look out below. All right, because the cow gun turns enemies into cows. What happens if you hit a bug with it? And for some reason, <laughs> we have egg. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I need a- I'm trying to make sure I can get a better image of that later. Demon bug. Or demon cow. I- the f I don't- I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting to do that. Heading down. Looks like this is intel is good. Please, be careful, Rico. If your uncle is down oh, here, this game. I'll get him out alive. I know you will. Copy on hostile contact. You're going there. Big facility. Looks like a prisoner intake area. You just made a big Keep going forward. Hopefully there's a security station with some records. No. on. God, these shield enemies are the worst. Also, please, please, prisoners, stop 
Found the security station. Anything? I'll let you know. <sighs> Stop running in the way of Rico. He's the agent. He is truly an agent of chaos. He's. He exists only for destruction. And that's why it's funny when he gets hit by lightning. Kind of a dick. <laughs> At the console, looking. Mira, I found your uncle. Cell box C4, Lanza Morales. Gracias a Dios, Rico. Hurry. No be swallow well target. Command advice. Any power. Acknowledge. Target. Bye. We establish visual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cell block C4. Yep. Alright. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, this place is massive. There must be hundreds of prisoners down here. And it's Espinosa's private facility. The Black Hunt run this place without any oversight. I wish I had a weapon with a drone. Nope. That deployed a uh, little attack drone sound. That would be useful. Instead, I have a cow gun. <laughs> well, and I have an actual gun, but like. A lot of security down here. A lot of valuable prisoners. <laughs> Bury them out of prison. Target acquired. Let me actually get on track where we need to be. I wonder. Okay, it doesn't work on them if they're dead. That's a rocket launcher. Come on, show yourself. Why was he suctioned up against a wall? If you're alive after that, I'm gonna be so... Okay, you dropped the rocket launcher. You're very much dead. All black hand units, stand by for more intel. As it should be. Oh. Let me just try to see if there's any enemies I can take out now. Huh, that's a weird Mira, interaction. I'm at La Masmora. Elevators open. I'll let you know when I'm on my way down. All right. Yeah. 
Here it is, cell block C4. Do you see my uncle? Stand by, Mira. All black hand units, stand by for more intel. Anyway, I just realized <laughs> this is actually part of the game where it's trying to be a bit more serious. And also, oh, the demon crossbow now shows up. Huh. Mine launcher. Yeah. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna stick with the assault rifle. Okay, I lied. I'm sticking with the Demon Crossbow, just because it can take out shield enemies really good. Really well. It's a bit more limited, but yeah. Now, does Cal Rico show up in cutscenes? Ronza Morales! Who are you? What's happening? Prison break. You need to come with me. I can't leave my work. We'll come back for it. Vente. Damn. Kaurico doesn't <laughs> stay in cutscenes. Oh, well, he persists past cutscenes. So that means I can switch to a different gun. That's good. I think until I save Prisoner and quit. Escape in cell block C4. Do not let Morales out of your life. Guess they want you dead. I must have outlived my usefulness. Dude, bro. Stop, you don't are. run in front thank of things. Thank you for helping me escape. Don't, don't be, thank don't me be rude. Your head down. I'll deal with the black hand. Why are you running? Why are you running so much fast? Why? I don't have a... Also, There's holy... Take cover. I I've got him. Oh, wow. He's down. Oh, wow. Let's move. Oh, wow. Not that I'm Crossbow, objecting to real good. But why are you helping me escape? There's a revolution spreading across Solis. We think you can help. Alright then. Alright, let's go. Okay, so I can run faster than him, but if he's in front of me, it just takes a bit. How do we get past? If you can find another way around, you should be able to flip the breakers. They should retract then. Wait there. Let's see here. I don't think it should be. God, I love the demon crossbow. It's very good at what it it's what it does. The fans retracting. Vamanos. Which is, no one else, it's really good, because those, like, that dude that I actually had to hit multiple times. Yeah, no, he's, he, 
That dude's in the exoskeleton, and he's a pain. We need to get out of here alive take first, down. Lanza. Questions later. And a holy <laughs> Is that what That's what happens. <laughs> you see, most enemies don't survive being pin cushioned. So actually being able to see what fucking happens if I like it, like when they survive bonkers. And I think that second dude I hit didn't go all the way to the end of the wall and just like fell or something. I think like they probably had a bit more like hit points or whatever. Like a bit more health than <laughs> than one shot to kill. Uh, I, oh my God, I didn't even notice I said holy cow. Another fan. You have fun? I'll find the breakers and shut it down. Having an absolute terrible time. You love to see it. Are you actually still alive? Also, I love their weird exo armor. Kind of fun. Not the most interesting design in the world or anything, but it's fun. Or it's not fun. It yeah, it, it fits their aesthetics pretty well and whatnot. <laughs> should be like either up or below me. Ah, there it is. All units, all positions. Good call holding your shield up there. Come on through. Can I? I was trying to pin them both with one shot. Oh well. Just have to have an old man run in front of active gunfire. Hello. God, the <laughs> this. I I love that they added in this like kind of needle dart weapon and like some of the enemies just don't know how to interact like they're <laughs> having an incredibly awful time being uh into walls I'm gonna keep my weird ancient crossbow thank you very much should be behind that door Let me take a look at that console. No further contact. All units still. I thought so. They got us locked out. I have to figure out a way to override it. I'll cover you. Um. Yeah, that's fun. I wasn't expecting uh, iron fences to count as solid objects for uh, the arrows from this.
God. That's horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just not thinking about it. Like, if this wasn't an action game, like Goofy Sandbox action Lanza. game, that could be like horrifying just seeing a whole bunch of like I need a little more uh, mercenaries time. pinned to the wall like that. And I love the ones that uh, drop grenades when killed. Ah, you know what? Oh, I haven't played Fear, actually. I've been meaning to, but I just never got around to playing it. Get on. Gracias, Senor Rico Rodriguez. I believe you knew my father, Miguel. You're Miguel's boy? I've seen pictures. I was sorry to hear about your father, Rico. He was a good man. I've heard differently. What do you mean? Tio! Pequeña! Oh. 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 I... I just can't believe it. I didn't think I'd see you ever again. Oh, me? Let me look at you. I thought I'd lost you forever, Tio. We need to get out of here. This place is no secure yet. Go with Mira. I'll catch up once we've taken the prison. Rico Rodriguez. How can I ever repay you? By helping me destroy Project Giapa and Oscar Spinoza. Anything for Miguel Rodriguez, son. So we assume uh, some amount of time has passed. The map is still having a bad one. But... Um, oh, that's slug. That one's very fun. But yeah. It, oh. Alright, we gotta take care of this while we're here. Yeah! And oh it You know it's been a while since I did this the old fashioned way. Oh, 
I thought it would crash into the ground. Oh well, let's bully it some more. That almost took me out. Oh, and apparently I still have a drone underground. <clears throat> Aggressively folding it. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I was hoping to make it spin around violently. But, ah, uh, now what? Let's continue before I get... Yeah. Now, before I do some goofy races and other nonsense, let's start this. Let's actually, yeah, continue this. Alright. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Kong. <laughs> um. Um. Oh, homies, why is that door closed? Why is... Why is this... Mm. Hom homies? Homies. Homies. <sighs> know what? Know what? Let's... Let's go back up. Grab a gun that doesn't only have grenades. And then try this again. Um... He's lucky he showed up here. No one was doing anything before. Know what? Let's leave the area then come back. I think that may <laughs> help it a bit. Because I don't think I should be locked out of doing that. Or not doing that, but of like the area. That's weird. <clears throat> and yeah. And, okay, it's, there's no longer, uh, fire spewing from the ground over there. So that should be good. Excuse me. Again, because why are move why are move closed? <sighs> why are you are, why are you close? Let me in. Shut up! You closed the door on me and didn't give me a way to interact with it. That's what you did. Sorry. <laughs> accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. Oh, don't you hate it if you accidentally auto lock on to one of the uh, agents of chaos or the army of chaos and almost fucking dropkick them going 50 miles per hour? Let me in. Don't you be careful. 
You know, I don't know how... To, there's some doors I just don't know how to open the handle of. Alright. Alright. Let's go. My pequeños. <laughs> They've changed so much. I don't know where I went wrong with my Gabriela. <laughs> Sometimes family can surprise you. <laughs> Is that why you say your father was not a good man? He was one of the chief architects of a weapon of mass destruction. Not when we started, Rico. Project Iyapa was meant to save lives. Imagine the ability to disperse tornadoes before they fall. To bring rain to drought-stricken areas. Mm. Espinosa seems to have another agenda. Oscar. <laughs> he thought his father was squandering his family's fortune on this altruistic project. When he took over, he changed our direction. He wanted us to weaponize Iyapa's technology so he could sell it to the highest bidder. Go help me with this, por favor. But, once we were working on a weapons project, your father stopped his work, and he left Solis at once. Oscar sent my own daughter, my Gabriella, to arrest me. And my niece thought I was dead. So I ended up here, still working on a weather weapon, but now from a cell. You've been working on Zona Uno this whole time. <laughs> I had indeed. You ready, Tio? I believe so. Yes. Kill the lights. So... You have a plan, Lanza. As I said, I've been working on Zona Uno. Your father's departure sent Oscar back a decade. The bastard needed my help just to recover the time he lost. But I also built in a flaw. Flaw? A flaw that will allow us to access the core. But first, we need to get into Zona Uno. Its core was our first major breakthrough in weather modification. We thought the best place to test your father's theory was the desert. The result was total control of a sandstorm. Hmm. We're taking the train. We rode the train every day into Zona Uno. The sandstorms made travel difficult, but the tracks are still there. If we weigh the train down enough, the winds of the sandstorm won't affect it. Exactly, Mira. You'll need some heavy armor. There are armored trains at Estacion Atalaya. We can probably get something there. We should be able to retrofit a standard train chassis. From Grand Central, we should be able to secure a train without too much trouble. Then we just need a place to do the adjustments somewhere near Zona Uno. Estacion Perdida. Estacion Perdida. We can do the work there. I think we have a train. That gets us into Zona Uno. But what happens when we get there? What's this flaw? The shielding there is segmented. I positioned it to Oscar as a failsafe. For ventilation? The shield opens to ventilate the sandstorm the heats. Shield is open? That's very interesting. Once the shield is open, I will need to personally climb the structure and manually release the locking clamps on the shield. Then we should be able to dismantle the power... What if... ...we put a giant gun on the train instead? A giant gun? <laughs> See? We should be armored once it's ventilated. The force of a large artillery shell should be sufficient to dislodge the shielding once it's been opened... ...and leave the core intact. Well, what, you hadn't thought of that, Tio? <laughs> <laughs> Where do we get a gun like that? Prospero Toretas. 
They put some high-caliber weaponry on their doors. And once we shut off the armor? Or we'll be exposed. I'll hack in and disable one of Yapa's defense nodes. Okay. Let's get started. I try to... Wait for... I've covered... Alright. I usually try to stay silent during the cutscenes. But... The idea... <laughs> you know, like this guy, he's been stuck in jail. Stuck, you know, in this incredibly high security fucking prison for like years and he's like okay here's my master plan he kicks ass we're, we're gonna go you know just train robbery secure the Marcos region but it's just Rico coming in here like oh what if we just shoot it with a big fucking gun? And it's like... <laughs> He's like, huh. <laughs> I've been here for so long, I thought I, you know, I had to climb in there personally, but... Big fucking gun might work, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I need to secure this region. Before we can, uh... Yeah. Yeah, because I think I've took out basically everything but this one for that, I think. I think. But, yeah, um... No, what, what time? It, hmm. No, what? Oh, that... No, I, I, that said, I kind of want a bit of a change of pace real quick. Yep, it's been about hours so far. Like, also, I should just warp to somewhere close by. I should have somewhere close by. I can, ah, here. Right. And I kind of want to do one of, you know, I think finish. I think, yeah, this will probably be the final big scene for, uh, for Garland's stuff. So, Rico let's you know, finish this off. <laughs> and then, I think, if I'm still in the mood for racing, we can do that. Or we can actually progress the story a bit more. Or, yeah, maybe progress the area a bit more and then hit up the final DLC. I don't know, because I know in that final DLC you can get a fucking hoverboard. And just having more mobility in this game would be bonkers. So that's something I'm looking forward to. So let's do some bad acting. Look at him go. The good driving, but bad acting. Scene, Axemen's Juggernaut. Yeah. Garland's uh, newest scene includes a Nazi Juggernaut and a hero who's brave enough to chase it down and stop it. Yeah, no, that makes sense that Garland would also do corny action movie nonsense. No idea how this is going to work, though. A race on these mountain roads it'll be iconic oh it could be the cover of the collector's edition box set now before i race i need to make sure i have an option i probably want this on so that the camera adjusts it in case i like 
move it around while driving. <laughs> we'll just CGI the enemy vehicles. This is Garland. She probably fun. has it's gonna people be after extraordinary. Me. The evil Dr. Axeman has uncovered the long-lost Nazi juggernaut. You're rushing to stop him from obliterating all of Solis. In a race car. Just work with me, baby. Ah, okay. It assumes that I would have cleared out this region already before doing this. Because uh, having to move around that big fucking thing kind of destroyed my momentum. Thankfully, I'm in the race car. Doing good against the black hat. Fuck. <laughs> All right, let's. Hmm. Mm. How do I want to do this? Do I just want to clear this region first? We'll, we'll see. It's gonna be extraordinary. The evil Dr. Axeman has uncovered the long-lost Nazi juggernaut. You're rushing to stop him from obliterating all of Solis. In a race car. We'll just... <laughs> just work with me, baby. We'll just CGI to make the Black Ant look like Nazis. It's not too much of a stretch. There won't be too much. Comparatively. You know, with the big police armor, or all the big armor and tanks, and whatnot. And their face are covered anyway, so that helps with CGI. Hmm. Sorry for. <laughs> what? Neither of us are dead from that. The weird visual glitch. Alright. Dr. Axeman is getting ready to launch. Your feet are heavy on the pedals, as heavy as your heart since you lost Kimberly. Who is Kimberly? Oh, she was your kid sister. You should really watch the dailies with me. Brace yourself. The juggernaut's emerging from beneath the bridge. I'm jumping off the bridge. No, the cliff! The cliff just passed the bridge! How else would you get on the juggernaut? I thought it would be reach a clear time too, but this is working out fairly well. I'm sorry for launching that car uh, <laughs> like 60 feet in the air. Oops. Now, now that I think about it, maybe Garland has in her script that the Black Hand are being controlled, you know, like they're being hired by Doc Dr. Axeman or whatever. So sorry, civilians. Ah, I should have cleared the region, maybe. 
Oh boy. Oh no. Knuckles voice. Oh no. Now it, it'll make for a better movie to cover up for. Oh no. I was too slow. Fuck. Alright, now it. Let's try this again. Yeah, no, this will be the final time. If I clear it now, then I'll consider just moving on and coming back for this one later. Oh! That's really generous. You know what? Whoop. This game is really generous with checkpointing, and honestly, I appreciate it. I was also expecting having to do it from like either the halfway point or just from the beginning or something. Ah. Okay, I probably missed a lot of time from being off-road. Alright. The final stretch. How are we going to take out the, the X-Man's Juggernaut? I'm not sure. Keep at it, people! Grateful, Garnet. No time for gratitude, doll. Gotta make a picture. <laughs> I think I was expected to jump out. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Back to your post. Target is gone. And I think, yeah, that was the final scene. Nice. Now I'd, I'm kind of in the mood for a little bit more. Oh, um, first, have I discovered this place? Oh, yeah, I have. No, I. Uh, let's do this real quick. These are fun. The car they're, expecting and pick them up? they're very dumb, but they're they're very goofy, I should say. No, no, no. Listo. Go give the way Pucha a ride. Dispatch, I've made the pickup. <laughs> now just drive that car off a cliff, into a building, whatever. Just make sure it explodes and looks like an accident. I'm so sick of the fighting. Why don't the rebels just give up? Is that ramp still there? Nope. I'm up. Dropped off your client, Sarento. Gabby and Rico, they were up to no good. They'll never figure out that we're uh Come around intercepting and take on their some LNP races. Wanna see you wipe the smirk off of Chess face. Ah, that wasn't a status... Oh, it is a status quo liker, because that's a Black Hand spy. So, like... Yeah, it makes sense that a status quo liker. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, those... Those weird 
random, like, they pop up randomly at times, and they're just so funny, like, ah, oh, you can't Spread blow up these cars, uh, you know, <laughs> with your weapons or anything, because they'll, you know, then the black end will know that we're onto them, but it's like, their spies keep dying in weird, strange car accidents, and explode violently. Sob agent, yep. All right. Oh wait, before I do this, I should sound music. I should lower this a bit. I'll lower it at sixty, which is a shame because I love blasting the music in this game. But um. A midnight run on, an island city bridges, the lost boys await. Cause yeah, these are very fun, but I just hope that I don't, uh, that Twitch doesn't, you know, like, silences my stream, which is sound music hills alive. Go ride, Parcero. Pick any ride. Um. The music here for these races don't seem to trigger the uh, things often, so should be good. Rico Rodriguez is joining the race. Little more time for you, Rico. Ah, this is really is sad looking. But I'm getting good score, though. What? Let me get back on the road. Oh, wait. I completely missed that jump. Wait. Oh, I'll come. If I miss the tiger, I'll come back for it. Or the, like, holographic tiger, whatever. Uh, okay, I just played some. Uh. <laughs> I just. <laughs> did some, uh. Some Rocket League level stun there, but alright. And I keep- oh god, I'm doing so poorly at this. What flipped me over? Ah, oh, I can barely hear the music. This is- mm, I hate this. But, oh well. No, I- I'll probably go through it again and just put it up on YouTube, or just record bits of it. Sorry, I just need some music. Like, I am not hearing this at all. Alright, that's a bit better. Is it? No, I can barely hear it. Okay, now I can hear it. I got the S rank. More time. Uh, 
What am I drifting on? He's usually... Yeah, I'll probably do this again. Uh, do the old YouTube recording thing. Show me getting the uh, the tiger hologram. Cause I, cause I know there's a bonus if you get all those, or for all the levels that they show on there. Yeah, I didn't get the tiger, but got an S rank. <laughs> a very sad S rank without the music blaring. Oh, the, uh, answer your question, the, tig the tiger uh, hologram deal is uh, an unlock. Like, I don't think every single, well, I think, yeah, I think every single one other than the uh, the initiation one has a hidden AR tiger. Some of them are uh, hidden better than others. I think I saw where it could have been, but I just went past it, and it would have been weird to, like, <laughs> reverse in the middle of the race to try to get it. And, yeah. I'll, you know, probably show all right, me... All right, you won. I'm clapping for you, really. Uh, show me getting that at some other point. Or, and, like, put it up on uh, YouTube. Do the old Xbox record this bit. Oh, there's another Garland scene. What? <laughs> okay, I'm kind of happy I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> about tigers. Um, but actually, let's look at the Daredevil things. Yeah, this one doesn't have a tiger, uh, deal. This one does. I've unlocked the final Rampage mission, which surprises apparently, uh, the, the Mad Max car, except with, like, extra grenade launchers or rockets on it. And that's all I had to say about that tiger thing. But anyway, um... Yeah, this one I've unlocked as well. The... Ah, okay. Did I... Oh, I didn't get the tiger on this one. Yeah, I need to go through. Get that. And this one's close enough. And... Actually... Oh yeah, let's do this one. Survival run, brave electrical action in the the depths of the rainforest. Don't get struck. All right. But yeah, let's get uh, let's get not thunderstruck. Which sounds wrong to say. Oh yeah, I need to do that. End up at some point. I see you, man. Yeah. All right. Hmm. No, I. Yeah, I still have enough time. This probably shouldn't take too long. Big 
Whichever rug you think will keep you All right. the longest. <laughs> Nitrous, dual SMGs. Wind cannon. Energy shield sounds fun. Side boosters. The buggy handles pretty well. I love these assholes. <laughs> but, survive and get across the finish line. Die during several course and you'll lose points. Survive. Okay. Get more time on the clock. Get to the finish line before time runs out. Okay, so this is a race. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you lose. All right. I think I'm liking the uh, what I can't hear of the song playing. Oop! In the background. I'll say I do love the fact that they're like they're the punk group, like of the underground. Ah, I keep missing. Uh, bueno. Um, y'all, there's. Alright, it opened up for me. That's cool. Ah, there's a piece of something stuck. Uh, ah, there's something stuck in my tires. That you hate to see it, folks. Enemy or Yep. Oh, I could have jumped on the top of that. Damn. You kidding me? Well, I got B rank. Oh shit, enemy orb. Are you ready for this orb? <laughs> you kidding me? I I got S rank. Okay. Sure. That's it. I still feel like I missed the hologram. <laughs> Uh, well, there's nothing I can really do about exploding, other than try to be cool and make a jump. Yeah, okay. I'm still in that ring. Rank first run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not dead. I'll take it. Getting S rank first run. Still good.
Gah. Yeah. And I, I'm not getting it out of the car just for the fact of... Uh, ah, good for you. Cause if I, ah, yeah. I figured that was close anyway. Didn't get that tiger, but... S rank, though. Scattershot SMG. Dual miniguns reduced. Nice. Not bad. Nice. Trial of Triumph available. The final test of the entry into the highest echelons of the Selena Underground. And apparently you get a slide strike. Dual SMGs, side booster, forward, rear ramps, tire reinflate. Wow, that, that has a whole lot of nonsense on it. But I still want to beat all the other ones before I get there. And now, it, yeah, that only took a few minutes, but. Uh, now, I, yeah, I'll hold off on doing. I kind of want this for later. Or, no, it. Uh, that only took a few minutes. I think I get this one. Nice. And then... Yeah. We'll go do this one. So that... I can have... Wait. Yeah, I think I have... No, yeah, so that I can have at least S rank on all the normal ones. Oje! Spread your wings, Rico! Actually, let me check again, just because of my memory being what it is. Alright, gearheads. Three out of four. S-ranked. Oh, and that shows me the tigers as well. Nice. Uh, L and P. Three out of four. S-ranked. Both Tistas. Yeah. And then their final one. Alright, yeah. So then I'll have just the final ones for each of these that I can show off next stream. And these don't take too long. And then I can start up the... You know what? I think I'll talk to Sheldon. Maybe. You're worthless. Come on, punch. Love these dudes. They're just so... <laughs> They're so aggressive. Energy shield, wind cannon. Survival run. Alright, this one's... Mm. I kind of want to have nitrous. I kind of like the buggy. Buggies help. Uh, now what? Let's, let's do the SO SUV. Okay, I am not doing so great. Alright, you got a little longer now. Seen wars. Okay. 
Sorry for not uh, paying to chat too well, but. Whoop. Yeah, okay. Sure, I'll accept that. Oh, wait. SUV, still pretty good. Sport, go go, sport utility vehicle. That's so fuck. Fuck 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 fuck. Ah! Oh, I didn't even get that multiplier. Yeah, that, uh, that bonus. Whack. Come on. <laughs> no, I caught the tiger. I didn't get S rank. thousand points away. Oh, out of that rude sandstorm. Yep. No, I... Mm, I kind of want to start. But Tiger was got... <sighs> okay, now I think I can do this. Mm. No, I, I think... I can you know what let's just let's just try this one again let's see if I can just get an S rank because I was thinking like oh I can probably go start the third DLC or the third big DLC and yeah let me read what you were writing down oh I know it's pronounced SUV but the way everything in those vehicles is capitalized my brain goes ah SUV rhymes Suv rhymes with goof. No, what? Yeah, I believe that. I don't know if this. This. No, let me try something. Ah, no, I don't like that. Let's. Let's go SUV. I'm going to enjoy watching you lose. Alright, let's try not blowing up. I say, and I get one. No, wait! We're trying to get points. If we can get way more points than we need, then, like, game blown up once or twice isn't the end of the world. Let's 
So let's kick ass. Everything that we can fucking get at. Yeah, better blow up. Alright. You ready for this, Rodriguez? Right. <laughs> Let's see how you survive the sandstorm, Igwe puta. Alright, I think I got that B rank a lot faster than I did last time. You got some Though I feel like I'm missing some what? some points here and there maybe. It's hard to tell. I am in a sandstorm. And it's very the rude. I Not didn't bad. mean to spin that much. No clue what happened there. Uh, bueno. All right. I'm sorry, I was jamming out the music. Because <laughs> it's a very fun song. It's a very rip-bunctious thing that you do it. But yeah. Let's try not to get crushed by uh, cario containers. What? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Got S rank though. I'll dig it. Fine. Fuck, 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 <laughs> fuck, 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 Ah! No! Still has rank. I, and I died right at the end. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait. Where's Target spotted. God, don't love these assholes. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> one less bleed, one less problem. <laughs> Aggressive origami time.
Hell yeah. Nice. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm in... Oh, okay, I was close by enemy territory. Um, let's see here. I guess... No, I had... Sheldon keeps bugging me. No, wrong one. For this one. Let's... Let's start this up and see how long it takes. And then next stream I can do a little bit of... Just kind of a little bit of everything to kind of progress everything a little bit. Hopefully starting this up is what I need to get the hoverboard. Cause I want to play with that before I finish the game, you know? Okay, it's nighttime. And also, I'm still Cal Rico. What is this about, Sheldon? Got a message from an old friend. From who? Maria Kane. Kane. She sent some coordinates. Docks up ahead in El Lucero. Seems like the agency has come to Solis. And Kane sent us a warning. Seems like. Nice to have friends on the inside. Hmm. We'll see what's what when we get to the docks. Here, pull in right here. Okay. Let's go. Looking pretty hey. tough with the shotgun. I'm not letting you do all the work this time, kid. Any idea what we're going into? I told you everything I know. You sound a little winded. Just keep up. Rodriguez! Weapons free! Agents! No shit, Rico! Man down! They've got grapplers! Talk later, Sheldon! may have grapplers, but there's only one I don't think so, agent. Pal. Oh, they can try to defy me. They can try to defy my grapplers, but also, oh, well, let me see if this gun. Uh, Pidmon, one, one cow a bugging at the start of each session until we finish the game. Know what? <laughs> that sounds doable, actually. You all right, Sheldon? Uh, yeah. Fine. Coordinates are down by the docks. Let's go. Guess the grappler is a standard issue now, huh? Nine millimeter pull up. Guess so. That's an HC hovercraft. Let's see what we can find. There. Punch in. We're clear. Well, the agency's trying to kill us. It's about time. Probably tracking that three million dollars of stolen agency tech on your arm. I'm not taking off my grappler. Next idea. Maybe this mall doesn't have a lot of range. There's got to be a mothership. Maybe we can kill your tracker from there. Uh, agency got the hoverboard prototype working. What? Well. Hey, kid. Think we found the mothership. I'll be damned. Let's find out who's tracking me. Go. 
Close hoverboard. Grapple pull. Ah. Not... These All right. Little wobbly. You get a All hoverboard, right. and you complain. Ah, oh, this is cool, actually. <sighs> On it, lets me get back up in the air real quick. Lot of cargo crates. Throw it all overboard. Don't leave them any. <laughs> Bet one of those Sequoia mag slugs would get those crates in the water real fast. Sequoia 370. Electromagnetic slug shotgun. Mm. Oh. I don't know what that does. <laughs> you can't move if you don't have power. They've got electromag cables laid out up ahead. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> can't be good for the rails. Works for me. Mine's ahead, kid. Copy that. Grind time. This is fun. Ooh, okay, coming up on the sub. Hoverboard basics. Use grappling hook uh, to pull yourself forward. Electromag cables provide a constant source of propulsion on hoverboard. Or simply use gravity to accelerate. <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> Strong bad. Strong bad, yeah. Looks like we're gonna have to jump, jump. Alright. It looks big, but it's a pretty standard agency operation sub. USS Watchdog. I need intel on primary systems and power. Hello. Upload into your lens. Auto sniper. Sounds fun. Well, um, a rail. Come go. Howdy, howdy. Oh, that. Would, oh, Sonic Six. Um, uh, I don't really speak. Uh, <laughs> I don't speak Spanish too well, to be honest. Unfortunately. Wonder if the board will fry these conduits. That's better. Okay. Not the best idea. Let me switch to my demon crossbow. Sometimes, uh, modern. What? Sometimes, modern problems need ancient solutions, such as demonic crossbows. Ooh. 
I cannot speak Spanish that well. Oh, I thought they were alive. Conduits will reboot themselves pretty quick. I'll be fast. That game. All right. All right. That was a bit awkward. What? Got to get them all before they reboot, Rico. Conduits rebooted. Wasn't fast enough. Fuck. All right, let's try this again. And that's that's fine, dear. What? Shoot. a shame. I also need to learn how to speak Spanish better. But, yeah. Alright, let's uh, focus on something. Um, fuel tanks. Wow, these subs are huge. Here goes. Oh. <laughs> Crash into my own drone. Um. Where am I heading now? Oh, okay. <laughs> Lot of crates here. Airlock. Can't get to the engine room. Probably open for an agency vehicle. Try finding one of those hovercraft. I'm out of ammo. Destroyed. 
I need to find that hovercraft. I think it probably blew up. Scanners, radar tech. Must be keeping watch on the Black Hand for something. Now what? This may come in handy. If it's, yeah, exactly what I think it is. Rico <laughs> dubs. Um, what? Maybe, yeah, you know, you know maybe we can duel doing a dual lingo lesson together. That'd be fun. <laughs> There is no cover from Rico. What? Kind of fun fighting enemies that are like this mobile. Keeps you on your toes. Missiles. A heavy machine gun. Bonk. Let okay, me in. I am me. just friendly. Just the engine room. Hovercraft. Copy that. Ah, the missiles are from the front of the ship, not where the machine gun's pointing at. Ah, delightful. Alright, a lot of what I did got saved, so that's good. Now, where were we? Neutralize the USS Watchdog, kid. that do? Oh, it puts a rocket on them. Weird. Alright then. That can't be good. Found the bridge. Get the conic screen opened up. Oh boy, one of these puzzles. Is toast. All right then. I 
I still have... Oh, wait. Should probably be open. But let's check. What is this Mega Man? <laughs> yeah. Last of the supporting infrastructure. Just get all those crates in the water. I'm gonna knock your ass off that thing. Yeah. Job. Okay. Sploosh. Ah! Kind of well, then again, these guys have a lot of health because they're also agents. Oh wow, I stuck them to... through the, uh, concrete barrier. Sub tank. <laughs>
appearing in front of Rico. <laughs> to the, uh... If you don't mind. All right. Say that, go back to the fire. Oof. Engineering. Shoot out the power cells. That should trigger the fail safe. Open the reactor up. Let me get out my little tank. I'm gonna blow that up before something hits me. Oh. Turning around. Oh, by grappling behind you. That's good. should open that reactor up now. Fill it with lead. Going anywhere now. Skippers following protocol, activating the communication relay. They're gonna beam whatever they can back to Agency HQ. Don't let that happen. Boop. Oh, getting out. Sequoia is good. Keep on the cables. They'll short the system and bring out the relay. Once it's exposed, shoot it to hell. That's it. The watchdog has been put down. Find an access point on board. Send me what's left of the sub's database. I'll try and figure out what's going on. Aye, aye. I know who the agent in charge is. Our old friend Miller. Emerson Miller? That bastard. Seems like he's moving up in the world. Miller always knew how to play the game. Even better than me. If he's following SOP, he'll be carrying a command briefcase. We can use that to access the agency's network and delete the tracker data. But where is he? Looks like they've sent a whole fleet of subs to Solis. Ah, shit. What's the plan? I'll just keep taking out these subs until I find him. 
<laughs> the tried and true Rodriguez method. If it ain't broke, Sheldon. Hey, kid. Miller's only gotten more dangerous since basic. So have I. Alright, incoming submarines. More HC submarines have appeared along the coast. Take care of them. Also, to read your messages, Bin Wan, um, this stinks of level design from Twilight Princess with the the spinner. The special paths that go whoosh, but otherwise not that helpful. I mean, kind of? I mean, I appreciate it. You, like, it's faster than running, but yeah, they aren't that powerful compared to But yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's, the map is having a fun time. Let's get back to, see, actually, dangerizing, rogue agent, Rico's onslaught, destruction's drawn out, Emerson Miller, uh, you had, had to complete the rest, watchdog, white feather, conquest, westward, cold talker, or co-talker, and then visionary. Combat effectiveness. Oh, what? Combat effectiveness 100%? Oh. Okay, I think that's just showing their overall combat effectiveness. Alright. Let's... Let's... No, it, yeah. Let's bail for now. But, no, yeah, you kind of have a point that this is kind of... Some of these paths are kind of like that. But they do help you move around. And, you know... The novelty of the hoverboard hasn't lost on me yet. And, yeah, I went a bit over time. It was an honor to fly you, Hefe. But... Uh, no, let's try something. Oh! <laughs> yeah. But up on the spinner. The, the walking defo, the spinner. Yeah, the spinner was pretty slow. Yeah. Also, I think the hoverboard really shines when you're not on the, when you're actually playing normally. Because it also gets faster from just gravity. So the more jumps someone on that you can pull off and chain, like you can go fast. Like downhill. Ah, you know what? I love that actually. Because it complements how the game normally goes with uh, the wingsuit. Of like, you kind of want to be around hills or, you know, up or down, like slopes, so that you can, like, move faster. And, like, grapple onto things. So it, it's an extension of that. And that, yeah, that, that's really good. And also, I am very happy that... Okay, I got stuck on something, but yeah. Ah, this is really fun. And yeah, next time... Oh yeah, uh, to read your comment, it's like uh, breath Breathy Wild Shield Surfing Plus. It's almost like Rico's Grapple's real good. Yeah, no, Rico's Grapple's real good, and they're like, 
I appreciate the fact that the hoverboard doesn't take away from grappling or the wingsuit. It's a, it's a further complement to it. That just, you know, it's like adding more spices to something, you know, that complement it. You know, to use a food analogy, it just, it keeps making your basic mechanics even better. And that's, yeah, it's, it's real good. Happy about this. Still some oh, so, ships yeah, I off think. The, coast Solis, Rico. the Rodriguez method takes time. Once you've disabled the last of those subs, Emerson Miller will probably show his face. I'll take care of it, Sheldon. <laughs> Thank you, Rico, for, for, you know, saying that, yeah, no, you are an open world action game protagonist. You take your time doing things. But anyway, thanks for watching. This has been a blast. Oh, wow, this is really good. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and see y'all later.